be stretching together today. Get your mat out. You can get anything out. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm just using my yoga mat, but you can use like literally a blanket or anything. Um, and just get some pillows too. Pillows are super helpful for stretching. Sorry, the windows are open and like the bus is making some weird noise. Anyways, so how am I going to start this off? Um, we're going to be stretching our splits. So, um, I'm somewhat already warm. It's summer and my house is not cold. And I just showered. I think that stretching after you shower is like the best thing ever because your body is just warm. You've been warming it up in like warm water for like 10 minutes, right? So, anyways, I'm just stretching a little because my back wants to stretch a little. Okay. Anyways, okay, so let's start this off. We're going to start with the left leg. I usually start with my right, but my left leg was like somewhat up. So we're going to start with the left leg. What I like to do is get into a lunge. So I'm sure everyone knows what a lunge looks like anyways. Just make sure you lean into it. And what I like doing is staying here. If I have time, like, I'll stay here for, like, five minutes and then switch legs. You know what I mean? Like, just watch a TV show, put a timer right next to you. But for the sake of this video, like, you know, just do it for, like, ten seconds, I guess. Anyways. And then I lean back. Same thing. If I... I usually hold this for less, so, like, maybe three minutes instead of five. But I try to really lean into it. And then I flex my foot. This is so hard because my hamstrings are, like really tight everything here is really tight and I haven't stretched in like ages so forgive me anyways just... yeah and then you do the same thing on the other side so I just like chilling here I guess it's supposed to burn right here by the way right here and kind of right here too like mostly like right here, like your hip. Anyways, so just point your toes now and lean as much as you can. Don't lean with your back, like really lean with your hip. Bend at your hip, not your spine. And then same thing, you flex your foot. I'm really not flexible anymore. Obviously, at this point, your your spine is going to be curved. That's okay. I'm just trying to reach for that. Like, I'm not going to do this. Anyways, whatever. You can, but whatever. Anyways. So, next, what else do I practice? Oh. I like doing these two. So, this time we're, like, lunging, but your foot is up. I hope you can see that. And you're keeping this leg at a 90 degree angle. So I'm just gonna turn this way so you can see it better. So I'm like this. And I do the exact same thing. I just stay there. You can stay here for like five minutes. And then do the other leg. You can always stay up doing this, maybe like five minutes like this, five minutes like that. Another thing, speaking of going down, I really like doing this. And at this point, you can kind of get your pillows too to help you, I guess. It's more comfortable. Just stay like this. I feel like this really opens up your hips. And the less you strain, the better your stretch will be, which is why I like using pillows. Uh, so if you have like 
maybe like a stack of five pillows where you can be like literally like this and it's just your hip that's doing the work I feel like that's a lot more effective Ooh, I have a cramp anyways so this same thing we're gonna do the other side so just again make sure your foot's at a 90 degree angle right here and just do that And try not to like spread your legs like this, like make sure it's still, you know, straight. Okay. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is the actual split. There's really not much to this whole thing, stretching for your splits, because you can do whatever you want. There's so many things that will help you get your splits. So this is the things I mean, these are the things that I focus on when I stretch my splits because I feel like they actually helped me, but you can really do whatever you want. My main thing that really helped, again, with the pillows is putting it under you. I should have gotten more pillows because I'm further away from the ground now that I haven't stretched in a while. But basically, yeah, you get the concept. Just put the pillows under you and stay stay like literally you could stay 10 minutes in your splits and then switch legs or maybe do five side uh five five minutes on the right five minutes on the left and then go back and do five minutes on the right five minutes on the left or restart these whole stretches just to like give your body a break and not do the same thing you know anyways like i said by using the pillows, you're releasing some of the stress on your legs and your body feels like it's closer to the ground. So you actually improve more that way. Again, this looks like nothing because like I, I'm so far away from the ground, but you're supposed to be resting on the pillows. And the last thing I do, you can see that I'm not even that far away from the ground. The last thing I do is over splits. Over splits is the ultimate key. The pillows, like right here, and the over splits, ultimate key to getting a middle split. I mean, a, a, a left leg and right leg split. So you just get into your splits and you over stretch, and it will help you a lot. And you do this maybe three to five minutes because over splits kind of hurt a little bit more and you can do your over splits um and still put a pillow right here i'm going to show you what i mean so get into your splits like this just make yourself comfortable when you're doing your splits and it will really help you get your splits. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna do the other side. And you just stay here. Try to move yourself too when you're doing your splits. So stay straight, bend, go back. You know, don't stay in one spot when you're doing it. Because you really want to feel the stretch. Anyways, that's it. That's literally it. Thanks for watching.